Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to part 30 of our PTT video series. And in this video, we're talking about Extend Report with SpecFlow and Selenium C Sharp and it is part B, which is a complete continuation of part 29. So before watching this part, please go ahead and watch part 29 so that you can have a clear understanding of what we're discussing here. Alright, so let's get started. Problem with our existing code. So in our last video, we were trying to create an extent report, which was cool, but all the variables, as you can see, the HTML reporter and the extent reports and the features, scenarios, steps, we're all sitting under one single step, which is completely not relevant because you can see that the scenario was hard-coded, the feature was hard-coded, and the step itself was hard-coded. So that's not really going to be helpful for the real-time situation. So the only way that we can do is, as I said before on the first video slide, we have to move all our code from the actual step so that we don't really have to write so much of code in there to the hooks. Because thankfully with SpecFlow, we have scenario contest, feature contest, scenario step contest. So we're going to make use of them. As you can see here, we can move all the reusable variables to global scope and then we can make use of after test to flush the report that we can see in our last video we created an extend dot flush right and that's exactly what we're going to do in the after test and the before feature we can actually create the feature using the feature contest and before scenario we can make use of our scenario contest dot current dot scenario info dot title to get the scenario contest it's all that easy. So we can make use of all these different options to start working with it. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right, so this is the same code that we were talking about in our previous video. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to cut this piece of code from here and then I'm going to go to the hooks. So as I said, we have to run or create the report only once, which is going to be in the before test run hooks. So the before test run hook is going to be a uh, static method. So before test run. So let's say I'm going to call this as a public static void initialize report. So here I'm going to initialize all the reports. So as I said before, we are going to create all the global variables over here in the global scope uh, let's add the namespaces and over here as well so we don't really have to create these things over here all right so this is going to be the extent report and then we're going to attach it so during the before test we need to actually initialize the report that we can see over here and once the report has been created, after the test, we have to flush it, right? So we have to flush using the extend.flush. So I'm just going to make use of this one, the after test run of the teardown report, which is going to be flushing our extend report, right? So that's the another thing that we need to do. Once this is done, so this is the report creation and flushing, but we need to actually insert the feature, the scenario, and the actual step, right? That's what our pseudocode was all about. So for doing that, the first thing to do is this. I am going to make use of what is called as a before feature attribute. And here, again, this is going to be a uh, static uh, attribute. So the method should be static. And then I'm going to say before feature, try to create me the feature name. So the feature name you can create, oops, using what is called as an extent variable and using extent you need to do a create test here we need to pass the feature and then we need to pass the feature name so for feature name as I said we need to use the feature contest dot current feature info dot title so that's going to give us the feature name that we saw in our report earlier, the hard-coded value, the login, right? That's going to come here. And again, this is going to be dynamic based on the feature that you're executing. For instance, if you're going to execute the login, the feature name is going to be login. If it is demo, it's going to be demo. And if it's going to be user form, 
it's going to be user form so this is going to be dynamic and similarly we're going to create for the scenario using what is called as the scenario context right so that we can do using this right so it's going to be feature name dot create node of scenario of this 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 cool and the last thing that i need to do is this one creation of the steps right so without the steps this particular code is you know, going to be nothing so for doing that i'm going to make use of one more attribute if you remember that we discussed in our previous videos of our pdd video series there is something called as after step so we can just call this after step and this is going to be insert reporting steps so again this is going to be dynamic and generic as well we have to make this as generic as possible so for doing that i'm going to do is this scenario dot create node and again there is a problem here so this step that is going to insert is going to be always a hard-coded value so it's going to be either given or when and then but how do we know that it's going to be a given step or a when step or a then step that we will be discussing in our next video but as of now just bear with me i'm just going to insert the hard-coded value here right so that's going to be uh, inserting a step so all right i'm just going to save it and now if i try to execute this particular scenario you can see that oops we got some error the reason is because we have to uh, delete these things from here all right cool i'm gonna save it so in our last video we just hard coded the step and we had only one step for the report but this time hopefully you should have all the steps for this particular login oops i guess there is some problem with the before test run not sure about that ah okay seems like i have just copy pasted the scenario name over here which should be within uh, the before scenario attribute so i'm just gonna paste it over here and seems like everything is okay all right i don't know how i missed this so let me try to execute this test now and see what's going to happen. So essentially what's happening is before the scenario is being uh, spawned, uh, it is trying to call that particular scenario contest and it's throwing us the null pointer exception. All right, the disk got passed. That's cool. So now let's try to refresh this particular HTML file. There we go. We now have a login and the scenario name and the step names, everything dynamic. So I have not inserted even a single line of code anywhere within my existing step definitions of the code. You can see that these step definitions are still untouched. I have not written even a single line of code here. This code remains pretty much the same. These are 610 days old and I have not changed even a single line of code there. The only change I made is on the hooks. So I created all the hooks here like before test run, after test run, before feature, after step and before scenario after scenario so everything is over here and nothing not even a single line of code has been changed in step definition and you can see that everything is working fine without any problem but we still see there are so many issues here the one thing is this for this after step we are inserting a hard coded given here and there is no way as we saw in our first video that we can tell that this particular step has been failed or it has been skipped or it has been passed or something like that so it is always passed by default and similarly we have to make sure that if it is a skip step we are capturing that this step has not been implemented so for instance if you go to this particular step definition here in the scenario if i just do an f12 you can see that this particular step definition doesn't even exist so if i try to create that within this particular uh, file somewhere over here it is in the pending state but we should know that this particular step has not been implemented yet so these kinds of things we need to capture in our extent report as well so that this particular extent report is going to be more intelligent than just a plain log text as well so all these informations we'll be discussing in our next video thank you